what's up you guys happy sunday everybody yo i'm excited about today because today is the very first day of our 31 day business owner challenge yes yo i'm so excited about this challenge because i don't know about nobody else click quick disclaimer i create stuff based out of a need for myself okay so this challenge really and truly was created out of a need for me to really and truly get back refocus within my business because like the same excitement that i may have started off with 2021 it's not there anymore and so i want to make sure that i finish the year off strong i have so many ideas that i want to get done before the end of the year so i was just like let me take the month of august and really hone in and try to get the things done that i need to get done so this is what this month about we're dedicating a month a full 31 days to work on our business and not in our business i'll explain that a little bit later so all right y'all so what is this challenge consist of i know a lot of people may be a tad bit nervous about it or whatever because we're doing 31 days um and there's no alcohol or either there's drinking a gallon of water a day um i've had so many people say oh i can't go 31 days without the alcohol so you know but the purpose of these tasks and stuff like that is to really and truly help you um form discipline okay like we lack a lot of discipline when it comes to our businesses like we didn't lack discipline when we was working for somebody because somebody was over us and we had to make sure to get that done but when it comes to our businesses we lack discipline and so for the people who don't have their business you lack discipline in your life so these tasks and stuff like that are really there to help you really and truly develop discipline discipline is a muscle and it must be used a lot of us don't use the muscles at all because we don't want to discipline ourselves so here is some of the tasks that's going to help you develop and strengthen the muscle muscle of discipline so the task is number one 45 minute workout um every day okay i don't care what you do lift weights walk run skip jump rope i don't care what it is that you do um that one right there is so important to me because i have been um doing a challenge outside of this and god always speaks to me when i'm walking i mean he has spoke to me so much and i think it's because I am, there's no distraction. It's me. I'm able to concentrate. So I think that that right there is so important. So a 45 minute workout plus is helping you form discipline plus is helping you get up and move as well. We need to start moving as people. Y'all see my health journey. Number two, we need to follow a diet. I don't care what kind of diet that you follow. It's, it's up to you. Okay. Just follow one. Okay. <laughs> so right now I'm doing vegan and probably towards the end of the month, I'm going to switch from vegan because I'm currently on another challenge. I'm currently on another challenge and that challenge ends on August. So after, I mean, August the 20th. So August the 21st, I'll do a calorie deficit diet. So I don't care what kind of diet that you use. As long as you do a diet okay um number three no alcohol number four drink a gallon of water a day that's going to help flush out all the toxins and stuff like that that's in y'all body because we still need to hear a we need to hear a word from god period okay so we need to read 10 pages of a non-fiction book any type of book is non-fiction if it's a self-help i really and truly recommend self-help books and stuff like that are um business books or whatever type of book but it just cannot be a fiction book you need to read 10 pages a day i don't care what it is take a progress picture because i need you to really and truly um and i take a progress picture every day because sometimes the scale lies but these pictures don't okay i know that personally and the last one is spend 90 minutes working on your business not in your business okay working on your business it's different than working in your business. Working in your business is when you're creating products um, as far as in, you know, if you're a candle maker, you're, you're, a, um, you, you're making the candle. No, that's where you working in your business, okay? If you're a therapist like myself, me working in my business is me seeing clients. That's not, <laughs> that's not, no. 
So 90 minutes of working on your business is stuff that you don't necessarily do on the normal. So like you marketing, you networking, um, you creating um, different type of new product. You know what I'm saying? Like that right there, that's working on your business. If you have this idea for a book, but you have not written a book yet, sit down, write that book, write that workbook, whatever it is that you need to do, okay? That's where the focus comes in when I say work on your business and not in your business. If that's you needing the time to create or you needing the time to really and truly spend with God, do that. Or you needing the time to really and truly, I would even say go to therapy. Use that time however you want it or however you need, okay? So that's for my business owners. So for the people who are not business owners and you have you care less, that 90 minutes need to be for personal development time, okay? You need to spend 90 minutes every day for personal development. And that could be any and everything, okay? Personal development could be you really and truly focusing in on your self-care. You know, um, personal development could be you really and truly like, um, well, no, it's not exercising or whatever, but you spending time with yourself to get to know yourself. You exploring yourself to get to know yourself really and truly. And I'm not talking about anything sexual, okay? Y'all don't be like, oh my God, then you say explore. But if that's you, do you, baby? Yeah, okay. But really and truly exploring who you are and who you like what you like and what you dislike because a lot of times what i'm realizing even in therapy even in within myself like our family gives us labels and we identify with those labels and somebody else can pick that label for us so who is you who are you so if you cannot answer if i was to say so tell me who are you what it is that you like you know, deep down on the inside, who are you? It cannot be, dang it, it cannot be, oh, I'm a therapist or oh, I'm a nurse. No, that's your occupation. That's not who you are. I want to know who you are. And a lot of people cannot answer that question. And if you cannot answer that question, who am I? You, that's what your personal development needs to be. You figuring out who you are. And a lot of times you have to spend time with yourself. So these 90 minutes, you need to spend time with yourself. You need to journal, you know, um, journal. You need to maybe get a devotional. If you want to do a devotional, you know, whatever it is that you need to do, do it. We are trying to become a better person. Okay. So how this challenge is going to work. So we are, you're going to do it on your own. Okay. Like, but I'm going to help you when it comes to, I want us to meet every Sunday, except for this Sunday. So we're going to start on August the 8th. We're going to meet every Sunday at 6 PM. We're going to do a private zoom call and it's where we're going to plan and talk plan and talk so whatever kind of issues or whatever it is that you want to talk about and i'll bring some topics for us to really and truly um work through or me to talk about um one of them is helping you build habits so really and truly really and truly me teaching you about some ways of how you can incorporate new habits and stuff like that um business planning the way you're going to be successful with this um challenge is planning your schedule around the challenge not not saying not saying oh oh i'm a i'm gonna allow my schedule to dictate to me when i can do this no you have to dictate to your schedule this is the steps that i need to get done so i'm a plan around the steps so if i know that for me for me for instance i walk between six and eight o'clock every day so my first client cannot start it until nine o'clock so because from six to eight, I'm walking, okay? I don't. I mean, I'm not walking the whole time, but that's the time frame that I have to get it done. So my day starts after I finish walking. It doesn't matter if my day starts, it doesn't matter if I wake up late and you know, I go from seven to eight or I go from eight to nine, I have to be at my desk by 8.40, I'm not by 8.55 to see a client. And that means that, I have if I got to be lip musty, lip funky, that's all right. I'm gonna be a lip musty, lip funky. We doing telehealth, okay, y'all. But 
that's how you're going to succeed. Your schedule has to be planned around the task. You have finally have to start saying, I'm putting myself first. This challenge is also going to help you really and truly start putting yourself first. And it's okay to put yourself first. Okay? Because when you are thriving or when you are excelling, everything around you has no choice but to level up because you yourself have leveled up. You yourself are thriving and, and doing what it is that you need to do. So everything else around you has no choice but to do better. Everything around you right now is being mediocre because you struggling. Okay? So like, let's just really and truly... Like, it's mediocre. If you got kids, you not operating at your best. Your kids are operating at a mediocre level. Although you may think that they're doing great, but what if you was doing better? That means that they would do better. So, in essence, they're operating at a mediocre level because you won't take the time to develop your own self. So, that's all I got for y'all on today. Thank y'all so much. Again, we are going to meet on Sundays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let me say that, okay? Because I got some people from all y'all all, all over. But we're meeting at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. The Zoom link is in this email. It will be the same email every, I mean, same Zoom link every week. We're going to plan, okay? We're going to plan out our weeks. We're going to talk um, about what you guys may be facing. We're going to network with each other. We're going to see how we can help each other as well so i look forward to working with you guys i look forward to seeing everybody next sunday that is sunday august the 8th at 6 p.m central standard time at the zoom link that's in this email thank y'all so much love y'all bye